LG CIU2 is out, you only get one system for anti skid. You will not know how hot your wheels are. Hotwheels.com. What time is it? Time to land, fancy face. Hey pilots, welcome back to the channel. Let us talk about DC bus faults. When you get the eCam, do have a look at the overhead panel, the SD page before taking any action. Let us start with electrical DC bus 1 fault. As you can see, DC 1 is not working. Blower set to override. Extract set to override what configuration you get after performing this action do check out my video on ventilation system secondary failure avionics ventilation blower vent will be in amber as we set it to override let us move on to the status page cat tree single only and inoperative systems, audio control panel 3 not working, captain and standby static heat system is inoperative, left windshield and window heat, cat 3 dual, reverser 1, avionics van, van blower which we just put to override, galley fan, Brake system 1, center tank pump 1, and lavatory detection. Okay, now let us move on to ECAM actions. Air data switching to FO3. Since one FCU channel is lost, you have to cross check the barrel ref on the FCU and the PFD. Secondary system failures, cabin pressure page. When system 2 is not working, system 1 takes over. Fuel page, one pump from each tank is not working. Wheel page, LG CIU2 is not working. Do check out my video on landing gear system. Flight control page, only two spoilers are working. Elect 2, SAC 2 entry is out. Now, status page. Apply the landing distance procedure as you do not have one reverser and some spoilers are out. Engine 2 approach idle only. Both PFD on the same FAC. Slats and flaps are slow. Cat 3 single only. Let us look at the inoperative systems. Spoiler 1, 2 and 5, Elect 2, Set 2 and 3, VHF 2, Aphostatic Heating System, Right Windshield and Window Heat, Autopilot 2, FCU 2, Cat 3 Dual, FAC 2, one pump is only working, there is no auto brakes, only one LGCIU and no reverser 2. Only system 1 for cabin pressure, main galley, brake system 2, only one engine fire loop and FCDC 2. Now we go on to double whammy failures. Jeez, what a day. So ECAM actions will be the combination of the actions we have done previously for single failures. Blower, we set to override. Extract, we set to override. Check your barrel ref. Avoid icing conditions, 
why well we look into the fail equipment later 1000 psi is your max braking pressure to prevent tire burst air pack to fault and set the pack to to off secondary system failures only system one is available only one fuel pump is working lg ciu2 is out you only get one system for anti-skid you will not know how hot your wheels are hotwheels.com what time is it time to land fancy face your wife and two sons are out status page max brake pressure is 1000 psi apply landing distance procedure engine 2 will be on approach idle only both pfd on same fac center tank fuel cannot be used flaps and slats are slow cat 3 single only and apu battery start not available Inoperative systems, while wow, this list is as long as my middle finger. No reverses, spoiler 1, 2 and 5 went on a holiday, followed by ELAC 2, SAC 2 and 3. VHF 2, ACP 3, basically all heating elements is out the window, saw what I did there. Therefore we should avoid all icing conditions. Autopilot 2, FCU 2, CAT 3 Dual, FAC 2, one fuel pump is working, there is no center tank pumps, no auto brake, LGCIU 2, PAC 2, cabin pressure 2, ventilation is down, as with the galley fan and main galley. No braking system, only one fire loop, and FCDC2 is inoperative. Anti skid, left and right cabin fan, nose wheel steering, APU fire detection, SDCU, yellow electric pump and lavatory detection. We move on to the final failure. Autopilot is disconnected because Autopilot 1 was in use, so use Autopilot 2. Engine 2 EIU 4. What this means is that the auto thrust, engine start and reversal is inoperative. Use VHF 2 or 3. Select the audio switching. Check the barrel ref. And switch off the GPWS. Secondary system failures. All readings are gone. They went on vacation. Only system 2 is working. Hydraulic page. As you can see, blue hydraulic system is inoperative. The hydraulic fire valves for engine 1 and engine 2 is inoperative. No yellow electric pump. No readings on the PSI. Flight control page. Spoiler tree is out. Status. Apply the landing distance procedure. Just land in Doha airport. There's no issue. Engine 1 and 2 on approach idle only. Both PFD on same FAC. Slats and flaps will be slow to extend. Cat 2 only. Inoperative systems, like I mentioned previously, no blue hydraulics, no spoiler tree. VHF 1, ACP 1 and 2. Use Autopilot 2, No Auto Trust, FCU 1, FAC 1, 1 Fuel Pump, Alternate Brakes is not working, Reverser 2, 
engine two start because of the EIU, cabin pressure one, van extract, blue electric pump, GPWS, only one fire loop is available, and FCDC one.